Oh, hello. I'm sorry we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. Oh, heavens no! I is my boy... I is Ota in trouble? Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. And you're Ota's... His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Mm hmm Could you put that knife down, please? Oh, goodness. Sorry, sorry. Familiar with the superstition? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Is that right? He's cute. You have zero standards, Konami Date. You think that thing gets any channels? Unlikely. I do not detect any tuners or antennas. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. It says Mayumi's black sauce. A large jellyfish. Sure. It's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. That is the autograph of Iruka from Dark Zone Kalimas. Who? Does this remind you of your delinquent youth? Hey now, don't judge a book by its cover. Besides, I have no memory of my youth. I wouldn't know. Kuroda Kazuaki's cheek boiled in red wine. Let's hope that's not what it sounds like.
Family photo, huh? Mayumi and Ota, when they were younger. The other person appears to be Ota's father. doing sorry just trying to lighten the mood a swimming door a swinging door This reminds me of the funniest props compilation I saw. You reached pretty far back for that reference. Off those hands. <laughs> Just kidding. Is this woman okay? Uncertain, but she reminds me of you. That's just the calendar. <gasps> Thank goodness we have that. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what year it is. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right, yes. Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband, but it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Peculiar. What? This establishment is near the Kabasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean. Never mind. Huh? I think he went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. Oh, about 30 years now. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started, but back then everyone was willing to lend you money. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. 
Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. Do you want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. She forces Oda to buy them. I know it. The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. The product description reads, Solid Model. We should look inside. Use the x-ray mode. Now, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person, known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. A set. Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. That boy, he's been hanging out at this office building lately. What kind of office? Oh, what was it? It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Oto wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. <sighs> because there's a goddess there. A what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. You see that box over there? The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. Yes, that good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Do you know her name? I'm assuming it's not Witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the Witch. All right, we're getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. Call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? He doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. You can abandon this line of questioning, Date. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. Oh. 
A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Date, I found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnusgate. Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemnusgate. Renju owns that company. Correct. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemnusgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Iba, bring the car around. At once. Tim? Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? I'm from the MPD. <laughs> the police? That is a high school. A high school? No, Date.
Date, look! Ants! Look at them go! Yay! We need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. Hey, Aiba, what do you think would happen if I flipped this table over right now? It would come out of your salary. Eh, you're probably right. Guess I won't. What is that supposed to be? I do not know. Can I reach over and break that thing in half? If you can pay for the damages. Damn it. No, I'm kind of busy right now. Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? Last night. Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, what to look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Then what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment.
I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Does Tessa refer to Aset? That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub-accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. This kid is pathetic. Hey kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Asa. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Uh, 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 what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just... don't do it again, okay? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey everyone, uh, this guy... Okay, okay, I'll talk, just... Shh. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemnisgate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. She's just a friend. Yes, yeah, she better be. What? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Anyway, 
I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but... It said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Did you leave her there? You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Ota's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9pm. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. Hey Ota, what are you doing? Tessa! And you are? Mr. Dante from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean a detective? I've never met a real detective before! Date, your adrenaline level is rising. Is something the matter? No, nothing.
Hmm? Something wrong? You aren't even blinking. Come on, I'm shy. You're embarrassing me. Oh, are you... Are you a fan of mine? Okay, now I'm getting a little creeped out. You can stop staring now. Let me confirm something. You're A-set, right? <laughs> Let's play a game! Shadows! Um, Thread? Silhouette? A-set! Fears! Uh, Upset? Regret? A-set! Water! Wet? Sweat? A-set! <laughs> Yay! A-set, you bet! The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave. At once. I turned 18 this year! A senior in high school? Yep! Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so... We hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that. But basically... So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. Relationship? We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Stop! You're making me blush! This guy... Hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on Two Winner. Wait! Hmm? Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. Gee, Tessa. You always look so cute! So, so cute! So cute that I can't take it! Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully... familiar with her. I can't help it! Her loving aura is in the air! When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know? You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. 
I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Oh, um... I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Tessa? Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? Actually... I already knew about it, before Ota told me. How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. You'll what? Please take me with you. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Ota was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Ota, take a video! Huh? Just do it! Mr. Date! What? I can't imagine life without you! What are you doing? Ota, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah! No, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. Huh. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... I told you! I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Date, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. <laughs> 